Guten Morgen, es sind dann der Prof von Luxemburgisch with Anne. Now, welcome to this new lesson. So, in this lesson, I want you to learn chunks to make your Luxembourgish sound more polite. I'm pretty sure that by now you certainly know uh, individual words uh, such as uh, please, this is, of course, van es gelift, or thank you is in Luxembourgish, Merci. Okay, so these are quite easy and individual words. But in this lesson, you will learn to form polite requests using chunks. So chunks are pieces of uh, sentences or words which always go together. Bas du prat? Are you ready? Dann los! Now, let's start with the basics. Uh, you know that in Luxembourgish we have two forms of you, or to say you in Luxembourgish. So, we have do. So, do is the informal form of you, and you use this when you are talking to friends, to colleagues, uh, to people younger than you, for example, to children, or in a social gathering, so informal situation. And then we have the formal form of you, which is dear. And dear is used when you meet someone for the first time in a formal situation or with people who are older than you, for example. And remember as well the formal form of greetings in Luxembourgish. For example, um, in a formal situation or when you want to address yourself to an elderly person, for example, a man, you would use the word hair. Let's imagine that your neighbor is an elderly man and that you often meet him in the morning and you would like to greet him. How would you say this? Well, you could say, Good morning, Herr Weber. Wie geht es dir? Let's repeat. Good morning, Herr Weber. Wie geht es dir? Now be careful in the question, Wie geht es dir? Ich is the formal form of you. Now this is a point of grammar which you can learn. Uh, you can learn a bit more about it in a lesson on my blog where I explain the personal pronouns in the dative case. Okay? Or let's imagine that your neighbor is a woman. And then you would address uh, to her with Madame. Madame. So, for example, you meet your um, neighbor in the evening, then you would say, Good Novent, Madame Weber, wie geht es dir? And she might reply, Gut, an ihr. Okay, so this is very formal. Good. Now let's move on and learn uh, chunks so to make polite requests. And take my learning tip here. So, repeat aloud these chunks. You will learn many times. So, to get used to the sound of these chunks and to be able to uh, use them in conversations. Because you know that uh, learning a foreign language takes practice practice and practice. Let's start with the first chunk. This is the famous Ösch hat ger. Repeat after me. Ösch hat ger. Now Ösch hat ger is always followed by a noun. For example, if you want to order a coffee, you would say Ösch hat ger a coffee van es glift. Ösch hat ger a coffee van es glift. Now, the use of Ösch hat ger is very polite and I have a separable, separate lesson on my blog called uh, Learn to make polite requests using Ösch hat ger, which you can check up later. Okay, so now um, you can as well say Ösch 
Gave gear. A gave gear is then followed by an action, by a verb. So, for example, you can say, for example, a gave gear an pizza bestellen. A gave gear an pizza bestellen. So now you have learned a had gear followed by a noun, a gave gear, and then followed by a verb at the end of the sentence, or you can use the verb. Können, können to can. Okay, so for example, the formal form would be könnt dir. So more natural, it is können dir. Können dir. For example, können dir mir Lust schwatzen, wann ich gelieft. Können dir mir Lust schwatzen, wann ich gelieft. And the informal form is comes to if you want to ask someone something or you can as well say for example you are in a cafe uh, and you want another coffee so you can say kann ich nach ein, ein, a coffee kriegen wann ich gelieft kann ich nach a coffee kriegen wann ich gelieft okay so let's repeat ich hat gern ich geif gern können dir kannst du or kann ich. Let's move on with the word entschuldigt. Now listen and repeat after me for the correct pronunciation. Entschuldigt. Entschuldigt. Now entschuldigt is a useful word which I recommend that you add to your vocabulary list. Because entschuldigt is the formal form of saying excuse me or depending on the context it can as well mean I'm sorry. The informal form is entschuldigt, entschuldigt, okay? Now to ask someone for information you can always start your sentence with entschuldigt, könnt ihr mir suchen? Entschuldigt, könnt ihr mir suchen? For example, entschuldigt, könnt ihr mir so ein Wort Post ausfangisch gelieft? Let's repeat. Entschuldigt, könnt ihr mir so ein Wohai ein Post aus? Okay, great. Let's move on. Learn now um, polite phrases, polite um, requests, polite questions to use at work with your colleagues. So this will be uh, essentially informal um, phrases. So let's start with Kannst du mir helfen, wann ich gelieft? So don't forget to add the wann ich gelieft. It makes your question sound more polite. Kannst du mir helfen, wann ich gelieft? Or Kannst du mir den Rapport schicken, wann ich gelieft? Kannst du mir den Rapport schicken, wann ich gelieft? Entschuldigung, Darf ich kurz steuern? Entschuldigung, darf ich kurz steuern? Or you can ask a colleague, Hast weißt du im Moment Zeit, wann ich gelieft? Hast weißt du im Moment Zeit, wann ich gelieft? Now let's imagine that a colleague approaches you and asks you, Hast weißt du im Moment Zeit, wann ich gelieft? And you are just in the middle of a work and you don't want to be interrupted. Then you can say, Dit mal lied, a schulo grad viel zu din. Let's repeat. Dit mal lied, a schulo grad viel zu din. Okay? Or a colleague approaches you uh, and it's a bad moment because you need some uh, more minutes uh, to finish up what you are just working on. Then you can say to your colleague, Kannst du auf fünf Minuten zurückkommen? Kannst du auf fünf Minuten zurückkommen? And you can follow up with, Geht dat? Geht dat? Great. Or you can say to a colleague, so mir beschät, wannst du Zeit tust. So mir beschät, wannst du Zeit tust. And before we move on with our Übung, exercise, um, if you want to practice a, 
more and to learn more Luxembourgish phrases, you can head over after this lesson uh, to my blog and there I have a series of four lessons called 55 common Luxembourgish phrases, which you can listen and repeat aloud. So, to practice. So, pass to Pratfir Tübung. Are you ready for the exercise? Great! Now, I will give you some uh, English polite requests and you will try to translate them into Luxembourgish. And why not uh, writing your answers below this video uh, in the comments so that I can give you my feedback. So, um, sentence number one. How would you say, uh, excuse me, can you repeat that please? This is a very useful question. Sentence two. Excuse me, can you tell me what time it is? And use the informal form of view. So, excuse me, can you tell me what time it is? And here the last sentence. Good morning, Mr. Meyer. How are you? Great. And as usual, you can download the full transcript of this lesson on my blog and practice with, with much more sentences to translate and you will as well get the solution of all these translation uh, phrases. I hope that you enjoyed this lesson and uh, I say for now, Adi, Adi, merci fiat nous gucken, thank you for watching.